In this video, we are going to derive the formula of the discharge of a trapezoidal weir having different side slopes. So, first, we are going to determine or consider a differential area of length x having a height of dh which is located from distance h below the liquid surface or from the water surface. From the crest of the weir to the water surface, this is h, big H. So here, this is equal to h minus h. Okay, the length of the weir, we let that one as L. The theoretical discharge through the elementary strip is equal to dqi equal to differential area times theoretical velocity. Where the theoretical velocity by orifice theory is equal to square root of 2g h. This is neglecting velocity of approach. Okay, so from the figure, we have to determine the equation of the length of the differential area, which is x. We let this one as our a and this is as b thus x is equal to a or equal to length plus a plus b the length of the wear is l okay so from the ratio and proportion of the similar triangle to determine the a and B, so we have ratio and proportion. So A is to H minus small h equal to M1 over 1. So A is equal to M1 big H minus small h. For B, that is B is to H minus h equal to m2 over 1. So, b is equal to m2 times h minus small h. So, we have now here for our value or for the, equa the equation of a and b. So, we have to substitute it to determine the x. So, we have now l plus m1 h minus h plus m2 h minus h okay so we have to simplify we have l plus m1 h minus m1 h plus m2 big h minus m2 small h we already have our equation for our x, so we have to substitute this to our differential area, which is equal to d times a. So this is equal to x times d h. So that is from this figure. This is the elementary area which is equal to x times dh. Okay, from the formula of the theoretical flow, we have dA times bi. So, where bi is square root of 2gh, neglecting the velocity of approach. So, we have here dqi is equal to dA times 
bi which is equal to x dh then your vertical velocity is equal to square root of 2 gh neglecting velocity of approach then x is equal to l plus a plus m1 h minus m1 small h plus m2 big h minus m2 small h so this is d h so we have to adjust the size of this one okay so to d h times square root of 2g h okay to determine the the theoretical discharge we have to integrate both sides okay from 0 to h so looking back to our figure that is from 0 to h Then we have to take out the constant out from the in, thus integral symbol. Okay, so we have now the constant here is equal to square root of 2gh. So the integral of dqi is equal to qi. So we have to integrate the equation in terms of h small h okay so we have here um, the integral from 0 to h and we have to to multiply or to distribute the h square root of h to the equation of the x so we have here l h to the one half plus m1 h times h to the one half minus m1 h times h to the one half plus m2 big h times h to the k to the one half so again, I have to adjust this. Okay. Minus M2. Still need to adjust. We have M2 H times h to the one half d h okay, we have to d h I have to adjust again. So we have dh. Okay, so we have square root of 2gh from 0 to h. So we have here, we have to simplify. So we have L to the 1 half plus m1 h times small h to the 1 half minus m1 h1. So they are, they are all small h so that is the power of h1 times h to the one half so you have to add so that is equal to one plus one half that is three halves so that is the law of exponent when you multiply like terms okay then you have plus m2 you have big h times h to the one half a minus 
M2. So, this is, they are the same term. So, we have H to the 3 halves. So, this is the H. Okay. So, you need to review your integral calculus. So, we will integrate. So, this will be in the form of the integral of u to the n du. So, that is equal to u to the n okay, u to the n plus 1 over n plus 1. So, we have 2g. So, we have okay, we have L, H, so you have N plus 1, so that is 1 half plus 1, so we have 3 halves, so divided by 3 over 2 plus M1, H, so this is H to the 3 halves over 3 over 2 minus M1, H, so 3 halves plus 1, okay, that is Okay, 3 halves plus 1, that is 5 over 2, over 5 over 2, plus M2, H, so the 3 halves over 3 halves, minus M2, H to the 5 halves over 5 halves. So again, I need to adjust. Okay, that is... From 0 to H. Okay? So, this will be equal to square root of 2G. So, we have now, okay, we have to simplify. So, this will be three, 2 two third. This will become 2 third L H to the 3 halves. Plus two third M one. I sorry. Okay, sorry. So that is equal to uh, two third L times that is H to the three halves minus zero. Okay, plus two third M one H times. H to the 3 halves minus 0 minus 2 fifth M1 okay. Okay, 2 fifth 2 fifth M1 that is that is H big H to 5 halves minus 0. Okay, then we have plus 3. Okay, that is 2 third again. Okay. Okay, so that is 2 thirds H, no, M2. Okay, M2 H times big H 3 halves minus 0 minus 2 over 5 M2 big H 5 over 2 minus 0 okay so we already simplify the equation so this will be equal to 2G so we have here 2 third okay 2 third L H to the 3 halves plus 2 third M1. So H1 times H to the 3 halves, that is H to the 5 halves. Okay, minus 2 5 M1 H to the 5 halves plus plus. 2 third 2 third M2 H times H to the 3 halves is equal to H to the 5 halves minus 2 fifth 
m2 h to the 5 half so next is to simplify or to add like terms so from from your algebra so we need to add like terms so we have m1 here okay so we, this is the like terms and also this one we need to to add so this will be equal to square root of 2g times 2 third l h to the 3 half so okay so we have here 2 third minus 2 over 5 so we have 4 over 15 so we carry the sign of the largest number so that is positive 4 over 15 m1 h to the 5 halves then again we have uh, 2 third minus 2 over 5 so this is equal to still positive uh, 4 over 15 m2 h to the 5 halves so this is now the equation for the theoretical flow of the trapezoidal weir having different side slope so to determine the actual flow we need to multiply the coefficient of discharge to theoretical discharge so you have now q is equal to cd times okay times square root of 2g times 2 third okay this will be now our equation 2 third lh3 over 2 plus 4 over 15 m1 h to the 5 halves okay i have to adjust again okay plus 4 over 15 m to h to the power of 5 halves so this is now the equation of our actual flow of the trapezoidal section with different side slope so i hope you understand and again you have to have this side slope in the form of one vertical and m1 value for horizontal or one vertical is two m horizontal okay so thank you for your time and thank you for listening god bless